tuning in. If this is your first time tuning in with me, welcome. And if you are a returning viewer, welcome back. So guys, I have been um, wearing my hair, like just washing it and leaving it for some time because I wanted it to be healthy. I'm trying to avoid as much heat as possible. So this is what it looks like when I only wash it and leave it and I've been like just wearing it like this for a while now. I haven't flat ironed my hair in quite a while, at least two months I think it is. So I'm feeling for something more straight today and um, I'm going to be showing you guys how I basically straighten my hair with trying to use as little heat as possible and how I do that I start off obviously by washing the hair and I let it air dry guys so I haven't been using a hair, dress, uh, hair dryer hair dresser. <laughs> well that is true I do my own hair so but I haven't been using a hair dryer for oh gosh it's probably like two to three years now already I only in like winter when I wash my hair to get it dry quicker, I would just blow it dry with a hair dry. That's only in like winter and also if I urgently need to get my hair done. Otherwise, I'm someone I would wash my hair early in the morning and just let it dry throughout the day. And then just like iron it the evening. Guys, I use the... Okay, let me show the box first. The I think I've mentioned it before, the Babyliss. This is the iPro... 235 intense protect and um, it's a one stroke only they say it's the diamond ceramic and it's ionic plates which I prefer so this is what she looks like she's nice and slender and no this is not a sponsored video guys this is just what I use um, so I had a GH I still have it the GHD but it's so old guys and the ceramic plates started having like little chips in. I don't even know how that happened because I don't remember dropping it at all. They had little bits of chips so when I would pull the iron over my ear, I would hear like a pulling sound and I didn't like the way it was making my ear look eventually. I felt as if it was stretching out the hair because the plates were so old I had it for super long guys so that's when I just bought this one. Um, and it works quite fine for me so let me show you guys so i've obviously washed my hair it's dry okay so i will be parting the hair where i want to start and i always start at the back the smallest piece at the back so i will make a path over there and i'll get this hair out of the way so i'm just going to detangle quickly I didn't realize it got so sticky so quickly okay that seems to be fine now yes in the spot ouch all right okay so what I do I half this piece so I've literally just made a line straight across um, about two centimeters, two centimeters thick of E and I've half that so it's two bundles like this, right? So I do what they call the comb chase method and that is basically when you put your comb in the hair and then you run your flat iron right behind it. So let me show you guys so I've got it up to the highest which is 2 235 okay let me just I'll just pull and do the roots first so I'll just go down over the roots okay I 
Okay, so now I'll put my comb in and now I'll go. I'll go straight down slowly. And be sure to go right through and it <coughs> sorry guys I'm trying out a new serum oh I didn't mention I have a heat protecting serum that I put on my was a little bit of damp though when I applied it so I'm not applying now because I already have on and <coughs> sure that's why it's smoking so much that's crazy <coughs> so I'm trying out the way is the serum let me show you guys the previous serum that I used to use was by Mark Anthony. I used their shampoo and conditioner. I only use sulfate free shampoos and conditioner on my hair, guys. I've learned the hard way. My hair is actually very, it's a very dry strand, and I need something that doesn't strip my hair from natural oils and things so that cleans it without ripping out all the, the healthiness. So um, I've ran out of um, the Mark Anthony serum that I usually put on my hair before I straighten it and uh, I asked Abby to get me more and he couldn't find any so he actually that was so cool he video called me so that I could choose one and I tried out the John um, John Frieda or I don't know how you pronounce that name this is the freeze uh, frizz ease <laughs> frizz. frizz ease Sorry guys. So it's advanced smoothing and hydrating with extracts, protections from heat styling and humidity. So um, this is a heat protectant. Like I said, I applied it just after I washed my hair. It was towel dried and um, I like to put my serums on then because your hair is kind of more receptive. And that's why it's smoking like that now. It's the first time I use the iron on my hair with the serum on so that was kind of crazy I literally was choking on that <clears throat> my previous serum did not do that so as you guys can see I literally just done two steps over because I'm also paranoid like that when I do my hair straight I like, want it like very straight and I don't flat iron my hair often as I said this is probably the first time in like almost three months since I've straightened it and I'm gonna do the same on the other side now guys so I'm going to just for the roots, I'm gonna pull a bit, create a bit of tension, right? Let me just get this hairs out of the way here. So I'm gonna create a bit of tension over there. And get the flat iron as close to the root as I possibly can. Okay. Same like you would do with the hair dryer, guys. But because I don't use a hair dryer, usually people would when they blow they would pull and do that so I'm not using one I'm using just the iron so I do it with the iron <coughs> okay so I'm gonna grab my comb get that in there and then we can start I don't like the smoking thing guys <clears throat> okay it feels good I'm happy feels smooth throughout from root to tip I do apologize for the noise guys if you hear noise in the background my neighbors at the back they are building on their premises so almost every day it's constant noise it gets frustrating at times but you know you gotta be tolerant with your neighbors so i just try and ignore it and hopefully you can too okay so this is the first section that i've done we still got a long way to go but this is basically what i do throughout my hair
Okay guys, I've gotten to the front, I've done everything at the back and I'm happy, it feels nice and smooth and straight so I'm gonna show you guys how I do my front Okay So from the front I then change the direction of the path and I'll go down, so instead of doing vertical lines, I will, well, horizontal, sorry, I'll do vertical lines. So this part I'm going to off as well, it's a bit too, too much even if they can, so I'm just going to off it like that, that's fine. I always need to slow myself down because I always tend to want to rush off and I do it too quickly. So I prefer to do it slow than I can get away with doing just like two strokes. <clears throat> As opposed to doing like 20 small ones. Which also doesn't create a smoother look if you do it slow and right through. So I've got a shorter lane in the front as well that I'm obviously going to do last so Okay guys, so this is the finished look once I've straightened my hair. I haven't done it in a while so I was a bit out of touch. But this is what it looks like once it's done. So guys, I'm just torn between this length, right? So I've been trying to grab these bangs for many, many years. I cut them, gosh guys, I can't even tell you how long ago. And um, obviously I trim them often when I cut my hair, trim it as well. 
but I always end up because I don't feel like this length suits me so I always end up cutting them again and I don't really want to well I'm tempted because I don't like this length on me so I feel tempted because it's in the front of my head to like cut this these bangs again but I like the fact that I can tie them back now it's nice and long Please let me know in the comment section what you guys think I should do, whether I should leave it to get out because that's actually what I want to do and for those of you who know I'm expecting so I'm thinking like after maybe of maybe like doing a type of hairstyle thing I'm not too sure but I, I feel that this needs to be longer then in order to cut a hairstyle vibe I'm not too sure yet I haven't made my mind up about it still trying to decide whether I like it or not um, so I've got lots of like layers or well, actually like three or four layers and um, I've been wearing my hair curly as I've mentioned so it's interesting to see it straight right now I didn't realize this front part was this long actually so it's not as bad as I thought it would be but please let me know in the comment section if you want me or if you think it will be best for me to cut it again I usually wear it about this length the bangs I usually cut till here which is almost like half of what it is right now so I think this is the longest I've let it grow out since I cut them which is awesome in a way because like I said I've been fighting this battle for quite some time now in terms of I always end up cutting it because this middle length just really doesn't suit me but I'll let you know what I decide eventually um, and thank you so much for watching this video guys I do hope it was helpful I hope that you've maybe seen something that I do that's maybe a bit different from what you do and something that you'd like to try if you have any suggestions or comments please leave those for me in the comment section below and please don't forget guys I do have a giveaway running currently if you have not seen my previous video please check that out I'll link it for you in the cards up here I'll also leave it in the description box below for you to check that out the competition is still running till I'll be announcing the or I'll be doing the draw and announcing the winner on the 30th of the 30th of June 2020 at 12 p.m. South African time so please make sure that you enter it's completely free to enter guys I'm giving away a nice makeup package in celebration of me reaching 500 subscribers woo woo I'm really excited about that thank you so much for your support guys and I'll catch you on the next video.